Hello everyone and welcome back to Freedom Through Confidence. My name is Ben and in this video today I want to talk to you about why you should never just surround yourself with positive people. Now in self-help positive thinking and being around positive people is often shown to be of the absolute utmost importance. There's a lot of talk about needing to have a very high level of positivity in your life, not just from yourself with positive thinking and positive self-talk, none of which are necessarily bad things, but also surrounding yourself with positive people, again, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But where we start to have problems is when we only exclusively invite positive people into our lives. When we focus on making everything in life as positive as possible, kind of Pollyannifying everything, then we run the risk of living in a completely false reality because the simple fact of the matter is, that the world isn't completely positive and that there are going to be bad stuff that goes on and that sometimes you need somebody to come in and be completely honest and critical with you about what your faults are and where you need to improve as a person. And so it's to that end and for that purpose that I would encourage you to stop only surrounding yourself with positive people because whilst it might feel good, it takes away a vital avenue of personal development. As I said, if you only surround yourself with positive people, then you may never hear even a shred of criticism directed to you. And whilst that may sound good on the surface, it is only through critical feedback that we can improve a lot of the time because we are not as honest with ourselves as we should be. And we have blind spots as well, stuff about us that we don't even know is there. And it is through surrounding yourself with the right people, not necessarily positive people, that those blind spots get exposed. And through that, you can improve in a much more targeted and efficient way. So if you shouldn't surround yourself with positive people, what kind of people should you surround yourself with? Well, as I said, positivity isn't all it's cracked up to be anyway. So what I would recommend you do is to start surrounding yourself with people who are supportive. Now, a supportive person is sometimes going to be a positive person, but a friend or a colleague or someone in your life who is supportive of you is not going to be afraid of telling you the truth about where you can improve as a person. We need that and a lot of us need that very, very desperately. We see this happening a lot in things like business and sport and other areas in the world where somebody goes into a particular endeavor and they've got all of their friends behind them and all their friends are telling them that they're the greatest, that they can do it, that there's nothing that can stop them until something does. Surrounding yourself with for lack of a better way to put it, yes men, isn't going to get you far. Sometimes you need a friend, an honest and supportive friend that is gonna tell you how it is. We often have a tendency to write off this kind of feedback as, oh, they're just being a toxic friend. And just to be clear, if you have a friend who does nothing but tear you down all the time, then yes, that is a toxic friend and you should probably cut off that person. But if it is just a person who loves you enough to tell you the truth about when you are making a mistake and when you can be better, that's not toxic. That is the support that a lot of people lack in their lives. It is that kind of support that gets you to the next level because supportive people will push you so much further than just positive people. I used to think that my family were not the most supportive people because they weren't super, super positive. And what I've come to learn over time is that just because somebody isn't positive all the time does not mean that they are not supporting you. I now recognize that a lot of the things that they had been telling me for years, if I had just taken them on board earlier and realized actually, yeah, no, these people have known me my entire life. 
they probably know a thing or two about me that I don't know, then I would have saved myself a lot of heartbreak, a lot of failures, setbacks, and disappointments. Sometimes getting honest advice isn't gonna feel too hot, but it is absolutely necessary to get that kind of feedback from supportive people and to also have those people to lift you up when you need to and to lift you up in a more honest way. You need someone to uplift you in a way that isn't going to lead you to overestimate your ability but you at the same time don't want somebody to drag you down so that you're constantly underestimating yourself you want somebody who can support you and i've spoken on this channel before about building up that support network because of how important it is for your personal development so go watch that video once this one is done i'll have it in a card above my head or i'll link it in the description something like that but if you want to achieve your goals if you want to be successful with your goals then you absolutely have to start to surround yourself with supportive people rather than positive people positive people are only going to give you a false reality but someone who is supportive is going to help you in the way that you need to be helped they're going to be honest when you need honesty and they are going to back you up when you need that again this isn't to say that all positivity is bad but it's not enough to just be positive you want to surround yourself with supportive people rather than solely positive ones. So I hope you have enjoyed this video today. Let me know what your thoughts and questions are in the comment section down below as always. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if this is the kind of content that you like. I put out now a new video every single day. So if this is what you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. But for now, that's the end of the video and I wish you the best of luck on your journey towards self-confidence and self-improvement.